Hello and welcome to this small um, overview of uh, Gamelan by Sample Logic. So I'm going to go through a couple of uh, patches over here. Uh, let's take a sneak peek. We have a single core and a multi core uh, patches. So basically, there are there are like um, atmospheres, instrumentals, uh, loops, and percussives, uh, which all have um, different sub patch uh, folders. Uh, and the same goes with the multi core. Uh, sorry, actually, there isn't uh, any folders, but uh, there are lots of presets over here. So let's start with uh, one note combos. Let's try a couple of notes. You probably heard the glitch uh, as the patch wasn't um, wasn't loaded when I started playing, so it's going to make some kind of a different noise. I don't know how it works, but I, I guess it's it hasn't um, or it didn't uh, put all the basic information up before I started playing, so it was missing probably a delay or a equalization or something like that, or there were some old samples or stuff like that. So uh, you need to take uh, a little time after uh, uh, switching the patch. So let's try again. And with two notes. Yeah, that's pretty good. see what is the evoke attack not too excited of that one Let's see, Ghost Hunters. Currently my mod wheel is controlling the cutoff, so um, we could try uh, making some different different uh, routing over here. Let's try uh, maybe the drive. And let's unlearn this one over here. Okay.
that's interesting. So, um, next up, uh, let's try um, Morris Rover. These are pretty pretty great, I think. Um, you can use that definitely for uh, backing track. Okay, let's go to Atmospheres. Becoming Zombies. I'm just picking up this uh, randomly, so I have no idea what I'm what I'm showing you. But uh, let's continue. Uh, all the atmos atmospheres seem to be quite the same, so um, well, let's try one more. There was the glitch again. Yeah, these are pretty pretty much the same. One more. And the glitch. Okay. Let's go to uh instrumentals. Uh Brave Hearts. the stutters.
And there was the glitch again. person again. the fountain. horse I guess that's the glitch again yeah Uh, 
I uh, synthesize me. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, loops. Club Force. This seem to be just um, single loops, so there isn't any uh, variation between uh, keys. So uh, yeah, this could work behind some um, additional drums, uh, but I I rarely use this kind of uh, loops, so uh, not too interested over it. But let's see. Um, what is burn everything? And what is percussive anyway? Outside of loops. Okay, these are probably um, stabs and uh, hits. Cyberstorm. Again. I don't know if the glitch comes with uh, the latest contact 5.6 or uh, if it still was uh, within 5.5, uh, .5, but uh, it's quite annoying. You really want to uh, give it some time to load the next patch. Like here. I guess it's safe now. Yeah. So, no, uh, I don't. I don't see any uh, real use for the percussives or uh, loops, but I guess the instrumentals and one note com combos were quite nice. Atmosphere sounded just the same. I mean, I mean, it, uh, it wasn't anything uh, mind blowing. So let's try a uh, single core. Um, something bizarre. Birds of insanity. Okay. Um, it seems to me that. Um, I have only one uh, slot, while uh, multi-core has like uh, four slots over here. So that makes a uh, let's see uh, a eighth different sound source sound sources, and uh, here we have only two. Um, I'm 
Okay. Yeah, that's strange. Call the cops. This seem way more like a effects for a backing track uh, or a soundtrack, not really um, that, can, that kind of a musical use. Yeah, let's try something else. Black Temple. Okay, um, let's see, electronic, candlelight, these are very well crafted, but, um, it's kind of hard for me to uh, decide where I will use these kind of things. Okay, I guess I'm going to uh, just go over this quickly, just to see uh, the overall style. Okay, so that's enough for uh, atmospheres. Let's go to instrumentals. So I guess these are going to be... Um, oh, okay, we have two sound sources still. So, um, let's see.
Okay, let's go to um, organic ones. So I guess we have one note such or here. I don't know about the fluid, fluids, but um, maybe the low end over here works quite well. Sounds pretty good. Let's see if we could have some some kind of um, additional 
uh, chimes over here. So there is the sound source. How do you change it? Oh, okay. So over here. And uh, let's put something over here. Yeah. So this doesn't control the balance, but uh, what does? Oh, this one over here. Yeah. So are there some kind of uh, chimes? Well, let's get back to that tough if uh, I'm able to find some patch with uh, those chimes I heard before. But I really like the sound over here. Let's try it again. Okay. That was one sad tree.
Okay, let's check out the um, synths. Okay, and let's go to traditional instrumentals. So I guess these are maybe the, the traditional gamelan sounds.
There is no mod wheel. I wonder what this is. Ah, okay. So we have some kind of a different, uh, different tuning over here. I'm just going to turn the volume up, so uh, if you're going to use these sounds for uh, as they are, you can hear the, uh, the ambience. Thank you. 
Yeah, overall, I'm not too excited of these traditional sounds, but um, if that's something you're looking for, so uh, there you go. I went pretty much through all the patches. Jumped a couple of here and there. Okay, and uh, let's check out the loops and percussives. So, uh, the loops first. Yeah, for me it is sound the same as the multi-core loops. Uh, basically I don't find that much use for this, except like uh, filling up the uh, hybrid soundtrack, but because there isn't any kind of a variation, it might get a bit repetitive quite fast. And finally the Burgessives. Hits. So these are like menus. You have multiple different samples laid out all over the places. That might be good for some kind of an ethnic track, but um, I rarely do though, so. Um,
Yeah, there are lots of impacts over here. I'm not going to go through all this now, but um, if these are the things you're looking for, definitely get this one. I mean, it, it, the samples aren't the best on quality when compared to uh, uh, lots of hybrid uh, hybrid uh, libraries there, but there's lots of variation and uh, useful stuff. Let's check out the traditional ones over here. And what I mean by the sound quality not being uh, top-notch is t uh, that it's pretty much the same as with our uh, we're, we're two Q. So um, I'm just going to go and uh, give you some kind of uh, idea how the sounds are pretty much the same. Uh, let's try the Hong Kong cinema. Uh, maybe Maybe some symbols. So if if we have this over here, and let's switch to uh, the Q library which is uh, quite old, so uh, let's see how it manages up. Okay, that's not drums at all. Drums and percussions. Percussions. So, in my opinion, uh, the sound quality or the way the ambience works is quite the same between Gamelan and uh, Q library. It just um, it's kind of um, dry. It doesn't have that kind of um, how shall I say it? It misses the edge. You really have to mangle this to get uh, something useful. So the same thing goes over here with the Gamelan. It could be a little better, but um, after all, all these patches, I still think uh, some single core notes and multi core notes are just beautiful. Let's go back to some um, good ones, just to remind us what we found. So. Um, Let's try this one. I, I really love the jingles and sound boxes and uh, stuff like that over here.
Let's try uh, layering something from our cinematic strings. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but uh, let's try uh, maybe some... Uh, well, let's go for a full ensemble and uh, let's put it over here. And additionally, I'm going to just throw some solo instrument, maybe a um, maybe a emotional solo. Let's try um, harmonic with some piano. Interesting. What is that sound? I guess I accidentally triggered something over here. Let's, so let's try um, reloading the patch. glitch and no what is that well let's not um, waste our time on it so um, do we have the harmonics
So um, the gamelan is very useful for uh, layering out, uh, getting something new for your tracks. Uh, at the time being, it's only uh, about 80 bucks from uh, vstbots.com. So uh, you definitely want to check it out and uh, add it to your library. So um, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this and you got something out from uh, what this VST offers. So until next time, keep on playing and uh, come back for more. See ya.